hi guys so welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm doing something a little bit different basically i'm talking about something a little bit different um, i want to start doing this series where i'm talking about more kind of meaningful stuff like body image mental health and all these kind of things and yeah today i would like to talk about um how to learn to love your curvy body and before i start please don't forget to subscribe support the channel like comment below every little thing helps so i've got a few little tips on how to you know love your curves start embracing them and not feeling ashamed of them really and being a curvy girl myself i've been through insecurities body image issues and all that also did my masters uh, in fashion photography and my main thesis was about mental health and body image and how body image affects women's mental health tip number one realizing that you are not just your skin or your body you are more than that you need to look deep inside you and, and figure out what else is there what other things you have that are positive what other values do you have what other um, maybe talents maybe you are good in you know i don't know singing or exercising or you are good at something you are a creative person and you love to create just see beyond your skin or your body don't just focus on it it's not about distracting yourself but it's just finding the positive in other parts of yourself as well you are not just your body or your skin so start a new hobby or start a new i don't know class start reading books if if you find joy in doing that understand that you are more than your skin or your body every human being has good in them so don't think that you are not good at something you are definitely good at many many things you just need to reflect on yourself so see beyond your skin or your body tip number two accept your curves by accepting yourself so basically what i'm trying to say is if you don't accept yourself for who you are then you won't be able to accept anything else that you have for example you have to accept that you have you know that you have good and bad in you as i was saying earlier so by accepting yourself you, then you're gonna be able to accept your own body as well and what i mean by saying accepting yourself is realizing that the way you are already is enough you don't need to be like her you don't need to look like her you don't need to do anything to try and be like the girls you see on instagram for example don't try and be skinny just to look like her you are you and anything you do you are doing it for you to look the best version of yourself not the best version of her so don't try and be skinny and then you're gonna have a bad relationship with food and and then there's a whole other problems that come with it you don't want to be having you know eating disorders and things like this we need to stay away from it no that's that's not good for your mental health so accept yourself for who you are for how you look and then if you don't like something about yourself then you can start building the things that you don't like or improve them human beings always like to improve don't just say oh that's who i am and that's not gonna change i'm not saying that i'm not saying accept yourself just to rest assured that that's how i am so you better like me for who i am yes but if you have some bad qualities or if you have some negatives that other people that love you tell you that you need to change i think you need to change it's it's all about improving by saying as well accept your curves by accepting yourself 
if you think that your curves is something bad then accepting yourself and saying that's who I am and yeah I've got a bit of curves but I can improve my curves if I don't like my bum for example and you know that the way it looks at the moment you can you can work on it accepting your curves will help you realize that actually there's nothing bad, bad in having curves actually I look good so when you start building and working on your curves then you're gonna realize that actually it's not bad having curves and I can I'm able to mold them and make them look more I don't know sexy or something like that so yeah accept your curves by accepting yourself tip number three care about your skin and your health well I, I realize that certain foods give me breakouts and, and that help me focus on what I eat and taking care of my skin now focusing more on my skincare it, it really makes me feel good about myself makes me look prettier so that helps me not place so much focus on just my body it helps me realize that you know I can look good if I take care of my skin as well not just my body but also it's good to start exercising I don't have that in a, as a separate tip it's, it's all about self-care that's why I'm saying care about your skin and your health start exercising and eating good food and I'm not saying that just for you to lose weight exercise is good for your mental health as well and also with exercise you will find that especially lifting weights uh, it will help enhance your curves it will make them you know even curvier but firmer when I used to go gym and you know I lift weights I will, I will, it will make me feel very you know good and powerful and you're motivated and then you see your body in the mirror and and you feel that you know you, you've done some progress and your body looks good so that helps you build up your confidence so it's good to exercise I want you to find a form of exercise that you really enjoy it doesn't need to be body weight because you want to build your curves it can be anything anything that you enjoy doing because it's, it's very good for your mental health yeah so care about your skin and your health number four let compliments get to your head sometimes why do I say that we like me I always get like shy when someone compliments me or I think to my head well He's probably just just saying for the sake of it but just let the compliments you know get in your head tell yourself actually yeah I agree with you I look good that will build up it will boost you it will boost your confidence and you know it will make you appreciate your curves even more and realize that there's no bad in having curves or even being skinnier or even being a bit more overweight there's nothing but with it as long as you take care of yourself and you eat healthy and you um, you know find a way of living that make you happy then that there's nothing best that you can do just to say when I first came to London you know in Cyprus I don't know like Cypriot guys I don't know I I think that they like quite skinny girls or you know more they like girls so for me I never had I, I think super guys don't like how I look well I don't I don't really care about I, I used to care though because you know no one would come up to me and whatever but but when I first came to London the amount of people that would come to me and compliment me it was insane I thought to myself wow that was because of my curvy body so I was quite I was quite surprised and that actually lift my confidence I'm not saying that um, you have to depend on other people's compliments to feel good about yourself 
but these compliments will make you realize that actually yeah maybe they are right maybe i look good so i better start loving myself for the way i am and you know that's what i did so yeah let compliments get to your head sometimes yeah so tip number five and that's very important is start is is to speak nicely positively to yourself so speak nicely positively to yourself wake up in the morning look at yourself in the mirror and talk to yourself and say i look good today you are great you can do it you you, you know you are worth it you are strong and all that all these positive affirmations if you go to therapy i think your therapist was start telling you that if you if you struggle with confidence issues this is what your therapist will suggest for you to start doing so you even in your head like if you do a mistake or if you if you do something wrong don't beat yourself up for that don't say oh i'm stupid or i'm an idiot or these kind of things don't use negative language about yourself just try and you know create an excuse say okay well the next time i would do better or it's fine it was just an accident don't don't talk harshly about yourself even in your head even the thoughts you have try not to let them get to you don't let them dictate who you are sometimes we just sit there and we think oh i should be doing this I should be doing that i should be you know i should i should have a house by now i should have kids by now don't don't let all that because that will stress you out just try to be kind to yourself be realistic and acknowledge that even though you're not there yet you're still working on it and you're still doing good and you know and you you are worth it you are you are doing the best you can so speak nice things to yourself imagine yourself as your friend if your friend starts telling you oh my god I've, I've i've done this stupid mistake i'm so stupid i'm sure you will tell your friend no you are not stupid don't say that you know you've done your best you and you just can't gonna try and advise your friend but you're not gonna call your friend stupid so this is what you have to do you have to think of yourself as your friend so you start speaking to yourself in a nicer way so yeah speak nicely to yourself tip number six is look after yourself and don't don't neglect yourself keep up with your personal hygiene be clean when you wake up in the morning you know make your bed attend to your personal hygiene do all these nice things it's about self-care as i was saying before maybe i should have put it in the other you know with the other tip but what i'm trying to say don't neglect don't neglect yourself don't let yourself be miserable if you wake up and you feel down because you, you don't feel confident about your body or anything can be anything try and make yourself feel good wake up have a shower will wake you up make your bed just do something so that that will make you feel a little bit better and that will get you a bit more motivated and then by the time you realize you start doing something creative or you know you're just getting on with your day in a nice in a nice way if you have pretty eyes put a mascara if you have nice lips put lipstick that will make you feel again good about yourself you would think oh at least i have nice lips or at least i have nice you know eyes so just bring out the good things that you have on your body buy nice clothes and just look after yourself you know it's not a crime looking after and it's not selfish because if you look after yourself and you love yourself then you will be able to love others and give the best version of yourself other people as well so don't forget that it's not just about you it's about the other people around you as well if you feel good 
and other you will spread the energy you will make other people around you as well feel good so don't neglect yourself look after yourself tip number seven i think i've got eight tips get clothes that intensify your curves i know you might be feeling insecure about your curves and um, i know you might be wanting to hide your curves behind hoodies or oversized clothing but i'm telling you you have to start wearing clothing that you know intensify your curves that show your curves don't 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 be ashamed to do that watch some videos you know um so many videos on youtube that will give you advice on what to wear for your body type so just do that and then you will realize that again that curves are not the devil or anything like that and i think in this day and age that we are right now they appreciate curves more than they used to you, you have all these plus size models and all that so it's not that bad trust me just get some clothes that will show off your curves and don't be scared to go out and show your curves yeah last tip number eight stop co comparing yourself to others as i said before stop trying to be that skinny girl that you saw on instagram stop even the ones that are always exercising and all that the fit spo all of these you know gym freaks and all that at some point i was very obsessed with them as well but then i realized that it just giving me anxiety like you show that you exercise all day long every day long but that's not true that's not reality so you need to stop comparing yourself to others don't think that oh this person is happier than me or this this girl look how good she looks she must be very happy no that's 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 wrong to think about that maybe she's the most miserable person you never know you never know what they post on instagram and on the social media is not the reality so be a bit realistic and stop comparing yourself to others you are you and you only want to work on yourself you need to compare you with the person you were yesterday so you can see the the, the progress you only want to be better than yesterday if you find yourself that maybe you are worse than yesterday then you should start worrying just compare yourself with who you were yesterday yeah that's all i have to say i hope that video helps you helped you in some way to, f to feel a bit more you know confident about yourself and feel a bit more motivated me myself be I've been feeling I was lacking motivation these days and that will make me feel very bad about myself but all I'm trying all I was trying to do is just to be creative if I was tired I would just sit and watch some movies or something like that so we are all in this together you are not alone so just remember that thanks for watching this video I hope it helped you in some way and i hope to see you next time so bye for now bye bye